Hello, and welcome to the LOC application how-to video series. In this video, you'll learn how to log in and how to complete a redetermination LOC. To begin, log in as you normally do using your username and password. From there, select LOC slash IDS from the application's drop-down menu. This is the home page for the LOC application. Each time you log in, you'll see a screen like this. You'll notice that there are a number of buttons and other clickable options on this page. However, we won't use most of the functionality on this page. In fact, there are only a few areas of this application that you'll need to use in your routine work. From this page, you can navigate to all the areas of the application. In this example, we'll be completing a redetermination LOC. As you know, for individuals currently enrolled on a waiver, a redetermination LOC involves the support administrator attesting to DODD that the individual continues to meet ICF IID level of care. Previously, we used a paper form to complete this attestation. Now, we'll be able to complete this attestation electronically via this application. To begin, move your mouse over the area that says Microsoft Dynamics CRM. A menu will then appear, and you'll note that there are a number of tiles, all of which will take you to a different area of the application. In this example, we'll select Waiver LOC Redet. This page is where you'll complete the attestation. To begin, you'll need to make a selection from the Redet Status drop-down menu. Select County Board Awaiting Attestation. Next, type in the individual's last name. Doing this is very important because you want to limit your search so that you only get relevant results. After this is done, click Search. What you'll see next is a list of all the individuals that meet the search criteria you entered. Also, you'll need to scroll the window to the right using the scroll bar at the bottom of the screen in order to see all of the search results. Once this is done, take a look at the column of checkboxes on the left-hand side of the screen. This is where you'll select the specific individual you work with. Once you check the box next to their name, you'll notice that the entire line item turns yellow. This is normal, and it's also a good way to help you see what you've selected. More important, however, is the text in this column. This column will show you your username as well as the date you checked off the box. These data comprise the attestation. On this date, you are indicating that this specific individual continues to meet ICF IID level of care. To complete the process, click on the Submit button. Once you click Submit, you'll see a confirmation window. If everything looks correct, click OK. Then you'll get another window confirming that the process is complete. If you want to check the status of Redet LOCs you've already submitted, simply select Show All from the Redet Status drop-down menu. You can then add more search criteria, like last and first name, and the results will show you all LOCs. In this example, the Redet LOC we just submitted is showing up here as complete, evidenced by the presence of my username and the date I completed the attestation.